Great. Uh, hi, my, my name is David Torres, uh, and I, I'm, I'm a Peruvian. I, I work in the application of technology to I work in the application of technology to, to sustainability. So in this presentation, what I want what I wanted to do is is to is to share the results of my custom project as a, during do, during uh, my period at the Coastal Science and Policy Program. Okay. The, the, the message in this graffiti, uh, it, it uh, translates literally into stop talking and start doing. Uh, and that actually, that this, one, this used to be my, my, my daily commute uh, for about five years uh, back in Cusco, a city in the Peruvian Andes. Uh, so that's a strong message, right? And, and after, you know, watching it like for, you know, once or twice a year for every day for around five years it, it really had an impact on me uh, and then it also made me think about okay yes it's important to work hard but it's also to have it's also really important to to do it but towards a purpose um, so before I tell you a little bit more about that purpose let's just let's just go Let's just check the, the outline of this presentation. Uh, only three parts, the theory uh, uh, background about my, my recent experience, uh, some context, uh, and then also, of course, the, the, a brief overview of, of my capstone uh, research and the deliverables. And uh, yeah, what adventures are, are coming uh, next. Okay, here we go. Uh, right after college, my let's say my commitment was to go and do something and get 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 my hand hands dirty right and in, in my case that has to do with with payments for ecosystem services so pes stands for payments for ecosystem services uh and this is is an area that is effectively doing or bring uh, bringing money transfer so economic recognition for the conservation or restoration work that is done uh, on the ground. Uh, an example of that would be uh, maybe the classical one uh, around you know, forest conservation uh, and also the, the, on the one hand and, and then on the other side, companies or even countries uh, acknowledging that work and, and doing uh, trans transfers of, of, of money or economic res resources. Uh, let me just show you how that actually looks like. Nature Services Peru is a company, uh, the company that I actually joined, so I didn't start from scratch. Uh, uh, on the left, you can see Patricio, uh, one of the key team members, and on the right is Frank. Uh, and basically, my job at Nature Services Peru it was basically to support both of them. Uh, Patricio was in charge more of the field operations, so he spent a lot of time, you know, among communities, uh, talking with them, listening, and doing up, making observations. Observations uh, with Frank, uh, he was more in charge of, of the engagement, right, around the, this I, the objective of the company, which was the actually implement payments for ecosystem services in Peru. Uh, and, and that was it. My job was to support them, so I was kind of in the middle. Sometimes it, it was a lot of uh, this uh, type of job. Uh, with basically, I went through all the information that the company has managed to put together, just to try trying to make make sense of you know uh, the company's approach, uh, and also learning uh, more about the details of uh, ecosystem services and 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 and. and what, what can work actually in the Peruvian in reality. Uh, I also had to collaborate with other professionals uh, because at the end what I tried to do is like building a tool uh, that, that helped me first myself that uh, to, to, to manage all the information that I was discovering and then also to, to, to just uh, contribute that to the other parts of the, of the, of the company. Other days, the, my, my office looks something like, like this. And so this is actually the first community where we got a, a, a contract, a 
payments for ecosystem services contract. Uh, and it's, it's great. This is actually an eco lodge, eco lodge owned by the community, and that they they is which is one of the strategies how uh, of how they manage the territory. Uh, there were there there were some challenge, few challenges, right? Logistically, for instance, uh, I remember in these pictures, uh, I was thinking, uh, should I become a vegetarian, right? Or I, I was sharing that right in a truck with with some cows and. Uh, bulls and cowboys on their way to, to the butcher. So, I mean, that's that's reality. Uh, and as a side comment, it was also hard for me to to separate like my personal expeditions that I used to do in my free time with actually the, my work. So I suppose that was a nice uh, situation to be in. Uh, but of course, there were other situations, more normal ones, if you will, where we are. In, when we're interacting with people more uh, like the tech savvy if you will and, and, the, and the, my job there was to explain our, our analysis and, and to showcase and test the, the tools that we were building uh, just to make it more 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 efficient uh, and also, okay so at the end in 2018 I, I this is about you know mid 2018 uh, my last visit to the original field site uh, but at this, but 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 this moment, we were already uh, six. There were already six community uh, as members of our, our initiatives. So uh, getting meaning, getting getting uh, payments for the conservation or restoration that they they are doing at the field level, and also twenty four companies uh, on the other side, right? So organizations that are with the commitment of reducing their carbon footprint. Uh, and also uh, collaborating uh, or doing it in collaboration with with, with uh, partners uh, in other places of the country. So I think, and that, that's when that's the moment when basically I decided to to go to to California, you know, to take a break, go to California, and uh, and now what I was leaving behind, it was it was a business, right? It wasn't just an idea like in the beginning in 2012. Now in 2018. It was actually it has a new its own name with Regenera and, and it was about uh, yeah a growing business that uh, so I, I left it I remember this kid was looking at me and and made me thought okay I'm what's next right I'm leaving or uh, you know we are we're doing this is things are going well why should I leave but at the end of the day my mission was for me it was clear and it was about taking a break and um, bring something useful, you know, back to Regenera in order for, for, for it to, to go beyond, beyond maybe the Amazon and why not beyond even Peru, right? Go regionally. Uh, so that was the, that was, that was a, a, a summary of my, my recent experience. Uh, and now let me, let me go to the, to the second part, which is more about my research. And I decided to do, to divide it into two parts. First, uh, a pilot, you know, two parts of pilots. Uh, the first one, it was about uh, climate action planning. So how we can, I, 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 I was lucky enough to, 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 to have an opportunity with the city of Santa Cruz uh, and its uh, climate action, climate sustainability program. Uh, uh, and the timing was right because they were under the process of about to start their Climate action plan update process. Uh, and so that, I took that as an opportunity to 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 implement a new software, a new tool for them uh, to that can you know uh, support the whole process. Uh, I needed to to focus on and, and do do more detailed research about models and also about local policies. So I learned I learned uh, a lot of things doing that and. And took me quite quite some time, uh, and I'm not over, right? I I I will continue on that research, uh, and then finally I I I I elaborate. I I put together a climate action model using the tool. Uh, so, as I mentioned in in my initial slide, I work in in, in the implementation of technology, but that I do that from the human side of 
things. So meaning it's about the human interaction and the collaborations between the, 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 the people involved. Uh, I am really thankful to, on the left, Max Henriot, who, who is the, which is the, the founder uh, of the Lumina Decision Systems Company. Uh, they are the developers of the analytical software. And also on the right, you can see uh, Tiffany, Tiffany Weisweb, uh, she is the climate action manager of the city of Santa Cruz. So they gave me the, the necessary resources and the information that I was needed, the, that it was needed to, in order for me to build the, the model. Now, I will show you guys a, a short video. Uh, and the, my intention with this is, is just to, is not to, 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 to analyze the details of, of the charge or of the actual uh, outputs, but just to give you a sense of the environment and, and how Analytica can, can actually be, be used. Uh, as you can see, is, this, is, this is online. This is an ACP. I'm using one feature of Analytica, which is Analytica Cloud Player. Uh, and this web application allows me to, one, to have like a, like a, like a simple user, inter user interface of, of, a, of my complete model. And then as additional or complementary tabs, I can, I can see the details of each, compo of, of each uh, part of, of, of that model. Uh, this, is a simple, this was a simple exercise, but I think that uh, I, I was, I'm, I, I, yeah, I'm happy that I discovered, for instance, this influence diagram, sort of a, a component uh, that is, if you, if you think about, about like uh, whiteboards and how we do things, right? We, we used to do boxes and mental maps. So this, is, this applies the same logic, but analytic allows you to, to attach or, or numbers to, to this, to your analysis. So it's, it's really cool that you can, you can, you can get, an, get an idea of, of what, how are the relationships among, you know, among, among variables. Uh, uh, and to, uh, so in, instead of the other like approach, which we can call it like a black box sort of analysis, right? Here, you can, you can actually uh, interact with a, 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 a lot of data and information, but without losing the, the clarity or the, the dynamics in, in, inside the, the model. Uh, there, is a, there is a report and also uh, the complete model, this, the desktop version of, of, of the ACAM prototype. Uh, for those who wanted to see it, uh, we, can, we can chat a little bit later. But you can see this is an, a, a, a no light environment uh, and that number and that, you know, finally is also a good way to, to support the communication aspects of, you know, uh, doing models, uh, quantitative modeling uh, and so that was you know that was the the experience with with analytica and santa cruz uh, now let me go to the second pilot of my capstone project uh, and this one is focused or connected to to regenera uh, and how regenera can benefit from an an, an existing tool called global forest watch uh, as you now are, are familiar uh, to, as you know, as you now know, Regenera works in ecosystem management, right? Uh, in order to put payments for ecosystem services, uh, projects uh, implemented on the ground. Uh, and we combine, uh, I would say, m for the most part, earth observations like analysis with local st st stewardship. Uh, so I was I'm, I'm, I'm very well familiar with those two approaches. So my, my, I invest most of my time in actually doing the, the online dashboard uh, for, for the Amazon and also for the Peruvian coast. Again, I did that because I, I was supported by, by Regenera and Frank, uh, and, all, uh, and also the, uh, who, gave me, who gave me access to, to the Global Forest Watch 
pro version, uh, which is uh, uh, like a prototype that Global Forest Watch is, is, is uh, building or developing. Similarly, uh, just a, a short demo, a quick demo about uh, the environment and how can Global Forest Watch Pro be actually used by an initiative like Regenera. Uh, one key difference compared to Analytica is that in this platform, you, you basically are dealing with maps. Uh, and and that's, that's important when, when you want to like do ecosystems monitoring. Uh, so, and, 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 and the way they do it is first, they organize a lot of spatial uh, data that is out there. So they use only validated data from, from universities, from governments. Uh, so it's, it's of course about, there is data about forests, there is data about property rights, uh, data about carbon storage, uh, uh, or, uh, and then also land uses. So you, there, the ecosystems classifications. So what we want to do with, uh, is, is, is to benefit from that standardization and, and and to input our own local, let's say, uh, areas of interest. You know, could be a polygon of a community of, of the, or the polygon of a national park. Uh, we can also do the analysis at the watershed level of, of subnational type of analysis. Uh, so that was the question. Can we do that in the Amazon? Uh, so I, I took the, 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 the property of, of a, one of our communities uh, and then also, can we do exactly the same, but for a property along the Peruvian coast? Uh, and, long, uh, and long story short, the question is, is yes. Um, we, can, we can get, a, in a few minutes, we can get a, a report about the land use change, the forest change through time in, inside the pro those properties. Uh, and as I mentioned, if we, if we can also do the, the same for, for the carbon storage, uh, the carbon stocks, you know, below ground, above ground. And we, can, we are able to do that because the information is already there, okay? And, it's, and, and it's, if in most of the cases, this information cover, uh, uh, you know, the, the whole Amazon or even, even the whole world. So it's a very, very big platform. Uh, we think that it's, 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 it fits pretty nice to, to what we are doing and what we, what we need. Uh, and and it, it, also, it, it also allows to, to share it. So it's, again, a communication sort of application so we can, we can share our, our uh, we can share the, the, the numbers to, to our, our existing partners or to potential new partners, right? We can, set, we can add this sort of summary report to, let's say, a, 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 a contract or a, a quarterly monitoring, rep, monitoring report. Um, so that's, in practice, very, very useful. From those two pilots and, 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 and the whole capstone experience, I think that the, the main lessons learned, if you will, are that first, you know, we, we, we have to use probabilistic approaches uh, and that comes from, from the modeling that I mentioned uh, and, and, and my work with, with Analytica and, and the Santa Cruz uh, project. And that, as an alter and, and that allows you to, to incorporate uncertainty into into your analysis, and I think that's that's the way to to work at, in, in the socio-economic uh, issues, at least, right? Uh, otherwise, you 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 are putting yourself into into trouble, especially if you you are making big decisions uh, or real-world decisions. Uh, second, uh, integrate available tools computationally, me and and that's like. There are a lot of tools already available that are, uh, many of them are even free, right? You don't have to pay for them. Uh, so the challenge, uh, what, what you can do is, is just integrate those into your own working environment, right? Of course, there are some challenge, technological challenges like you need to, to do some programming and stuff, 
but you can work things out, right? Uh, and don't, don't, again, don't, 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 you don't have to start from scratch. Uh, and finally, I think that the place where I feel comfortable working on uh, is the intersection between, between you know, the problems and the solutions. So it happens, at least in my view, that sometimes people that are building the solutions, they, they, are, they, they don't participate or they, they don't spend time in, in, in where the problems are uh, and vice versa. So if, if, you, if you have the opportunity to, 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 to access both of those worlds, uh, I think you can you can you can make a nice you you can make an, a nice connection uh, and, and move things things forward, right? Uh, there is I think a quote saying the, the future is already here. It's not it's just not evenly distributed. Uh, so yeah, that, that that's I think that's the same message, but Frey put in a different set using a different set of words. Uh, I, of course, I, I, now that we are acknowledging, you know, all my supporters, I would also like to include my family on the left, you know, parents and siblings, uh, and and Judy, you know, is also on the right. It's it's always nice to to, it's it's more fun if you have people around you, right? Uh, I I I I I enjoy my time in California and and, and all my ex, 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 exploration of, of the city and the culture, and now I also I'm, I'm after probably nine or eight years spending time with family and that's also cool. Uh, of course, to, to Gary uh, and, and Mariana, they, they, they are both my advisors, Gary the faculty advisor, Mariana the, the, the external advisor, and they, will, they, they of course gave me support you know, around my, my deliverables and you know, how I can to, to, to fulfill the, the, the degree requirements. And so on, but but beyond that, they 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 gave me opportunities to to just you know talk about life and maybe practice you know my build some empathy and and connect with with people. So uh, yeah, they, they they literally put me gave me a, a, seat, a place in the table. So that, 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 that I, I really appreciate that. Uh, so thank you both. Uh, last but not least, the CSP group. Uh, you know, from the students, uh, staff, uh, uh, faculty. They, uh, I really enjoyed, it, especially the first year when we were able to to just exchange opinions, right, uh, and point of, points of view. So I, I wish you all the best. And finally, finally, I'm glad to announce that I'm. The collaboration with my practitioners partners will continue. So Analytica Climate Action Planner or ACAP is a tool that Max and his team is already working on. And I will, in some capacity, pro provide them uh, the, uh, some type of, of, of support, you know, based on, on my experience and the pilot with Santa Cruz. So I think that that's really interesting. Uh, and at the same time, uh, I'm, I'm, I have this connection with Regenera, as and now you know, and we are going to be working towards a, a new version of its platform. So, uh, by the way, analytica.com, you can download the, the software. It's, there's a free version of it, and it, it's, it, I, I recommend you should, you should all try it. Uh, and likewise for Regenera, regenera.pe. There is a, already a working website right there, and you can also participate in this payments for ecosystem services uh, experiment or initiatives in, in Peru. Uh, and we are, for the version 2.0, we are looking at how we can integrate a spatial uh, and a spatial dynamic and dynamic sort of a dashboard into the, into the, the, the profile of each landscape where Regenera uh, so, uh, work. Uh, and finally, Automata Group is uh, a new venture or initiative that I'm, I'm working on. I'm working, it's just early days, but it's, it's also it's going to keep, keep me busy for you know uh, quite a while from now on. Uh, this is a picture from 2012. It was uh, my point here is you you cannot do things alone, right? You need to collaborate with others, and of course, based on on skills and 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 know-how, but also like in, in respects and, and, and common goals. 
So they, we, we, we know each other for, for a number of years. We are good friends and we will continue collaborating. And, and I think that I would like to replicate that with, with other teams also you know, from, from, from Peru, California and, and other places, CSP, of course. I would like to finish my presentation with uh, just sharing this, this, this is a campsite. I think one of my more, one of my favorite ones. And, and the story here is that there is a very famous, this is a popular place for, for because of the sun, sunrise. Um, and, and it's true, it's, it's amazing. Uh, for a couple of weeks, once a year, you can get a very weird, special sunrise. But one of, in one of my visits, I went at night and I did it. So to my surprise, I found out that the full moon, when you go at, you know, at night and, and you get a full moon, is even better because you, you see the, the moon so close to you that you can, you can, you can, you can even touch it. You, you feel that sensation uh, and it's red, yellow. Uh, so, but that was a surprise. That I, I didn't know that that was part of the experience. Um, and, and I think that that was, that was a good surprise, right? And I think that something similar happened to, to in, in San, with Santa Cruz CSP uh, and my capstone experience, right? I, I had my expectations and I, I was, uh, of course, uh, aware of the great place that, that, that is, that California is and, and Santa Cruz, but I got much more uh, out, of, out of these two years. Uh, and, and looking backwards, yeah, it, 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 it was hard to it was hard to imagine uh, all the good stuff that I I, I found. Uh, so I'm 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 really thankful for that. Uh, and with that said, and with my Peruvian accent that that I will never lose, uh, I would like you thank you all for your attention and happy to to take questions.